Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming to my session, uh, Pattern Matching in Ruby. I'm Yuki Tori, I'm a latest developer of uh, Every Leaf Corporation. Uh, uh, Japanese name is Mayo. And I've translated uh, Hello Ruby series by Linda Lucas to Japanese. This series is a picture book about uh, programming and computer for children. And I've also translated Programming Elixir by Dave Thomas with my husband Koichi. And I'm also a member of Rails Girls Japan. And I, this is my family, <laughs> my ba cute baby and my, my husband. Oh, just a moment, I, I want to use razor pointer, just a moment. Mic no tokoro? Koko da. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I use laser pointer for this. <laughs> for this. Yeah. And both of my family are great, great programmer. <laughs> and I, I can talk about my family for 40 minutes. But I, unfortunately, I have a goal of this uh, presentation. Main is you want to use pattern matching in Ruby. And sub goal is you know how to extend Ruby by Ruby. For my pattern matching, I wrote only several lines of C language and almost by Ruby. So I introduce how I did later. So this is the agenda. First, I chose my pattern matches basic usage. And next, uh, talking about what is pattern matching and show the detail of my proposal. And next, uh, I I introduced my implementation and last few uh, talking about future issues. Let's to first them. Just a moment. Can I show the code here? Okay. Yeah. Before looking into this code, uh, you know percent w. Of course, you know you it makes the makes array of strings, and percent q makes string. But have you seen percent p here? Uh, of course not. I think this is. Uh, Pa literal for pattern I, I prepared, I, I introduced. And the equal child is matching operator. So equal, right side of equal child is a pattern of array. First element is OK, and second element is variable. And Hmm? Sorry, left side, okay. And the right side is the object to match the array of uh, first element is OK and second element is uh, 200. It, it will matches and, and X, X to X, when uh, 200 will be assigned. Okay, try it. Ah. Before trying, I show the version of my Ruby. Yeah, this is oh, where? Sorry. Hmm? 
yeah, here, but I'm much ruby. Okay, and uh, show try the output. Yeah, it works. Oh. Okay, this is uh, my pattern match. Before looking into the detail, I would like to talking about what is pattern matching. From Wikipedia, pattern matching is the act of checking a given sequence of tokens for the presence of the constant kind of support of <laughs> some patterns. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, does it make sense? I don't understand. It's so broad. So, so I, so, so I'll, uh, I'll uh, see the, some example of the matching. Ruby now uh, already have the pattern matching uh, pattern. This is uh, it is uh, regular expressions. Regular, uh, regular expression, the, it, uh, it is a pattern uh, began with big C and uh, end with small p. This is a pattern. And the string of cup is a sequence of to tokens. And it matches. Uh, this is a the pattern matching in Ruby, Ruby, and I will introduce the Elixir's pattern matching. Next, Elixir is a functional programming language working on RMVM. Elixir's grammar is influenced by Ruby, and it has very powerful pattern matching system. I love it. In Nexa, equal is always pattern matching, not assign, assigning value. Uh, see the, this behavior of IX on IX. IX of Elixir is something like IRB of Ruby. And X equal E1, <laughs> and first line, and show X return one. It is very uh, easy to understand behavior. But next, one equal X. It is something strange for Ruby's, but it it is it works. And return one. It matches X. One matches X. And two equal X lies much error because at first line. Uh, x is bound into one value. It is uh, this is uh, Elixir's equal behavior. And more complex example, Elixir's tuple. Left side of equal. First element is okay, and second element is variable, and it matches right side of tuple. And result, to the result, 13 uh, are assigned and return 13. And next example, it checks the first element and not matches, so rise matching error. And X has also guard cross. Guard that makes it possible to check, in, check more complex condition. For example, this, uh, here is a guard clause. And if match this condition, uh, execute here. So pass minus five and matches here, a success and return negative one, and about zero returns here, 
zero and with positive five and return positive five, positive one. This is a guard clause. Ah, I like this pattern matching system of Elixir. So I, I know this, this system uh, in translating programming Elixir by Dave Thomas. And I want to use it in Ruby. So this is, this is my reason of this presentation. And now, about Ruby, there is a great pattern matching team. Also is Tsuchimoto-san. This team is very great and have a rich functionality. Usage is like this. Okay, match this object and we is condition. But but I I want to use pattern matching in Ruby more more natural, more simple. So this is a my proposal of Back to my proposal. This is a basic usage. Percent P, may, like a percent W or percent I, uh, makes patterns. And equal to the operator is for matching. And more, triple equal is an uh, alias of equal to the. So, we can use case when statement. See this uh, code in actual. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is a simple example, more, more simple example. But this is also the case when statement. First, this is an object to match uh, the array. First element is NC, and second element is 500. And case, in case, after when, here is the pattern. First pattern is, first element is OK. And second pattern, first element is NC. And First, first try to match he, this pattern and, and fail, and here, success. So, and uh, assign, assign, assign to this status 500. Okay. Try it. It works. Thank you. But uh, but uh, after after this, uh, there are some some samples is continuous. So don't uh, you don't have to crap each times. <laughs> okay. See more details of my proposal. Next. Before example, example is only about the array, but percent p arrows hash. This is an object user name is my name and from Fukuoka. And pattern is pattern uh, get the variable name and this check is from Hiroshima. Oh, this uh, match the next, next pattern. Uh, name is name and from is underscore. Underscore arrows, arrows or all, all values. So it 
matches here, and it will be, I, will be, uh, I will get this uh, outcome. Yeah. Uh, I, I say welcome to myself. <laughs> this is hash pattern. And next, uh, it is a complex pattern, so, but, so you, can, uh, you don't have to see details, but it, uh, it is a nesting pattern. Uh, in, in array, have the hash and the hashes, hashes, hashes value is array, and it, it contains each variables. We get, we can, can we get variables values? Yeah, okay. This is a uh, array in hash and, and hash in array, nesting patterns. Nested patterns, okay. And next, hmm. Pattern has, pattern arrows, also regular expressions. This example, uh, variable language is uh, the name with preloading and version is development. And these patterns, uh, key, key name, name's keys value is the Regular expression pattern start with p n and version has a variable value version. So and next pattern is the normal name and name and version and version. So this language matches the first line and it shows this this pattern matches uh, version is version. Development. Okay, try it. Okay. It works. So, yeah. This pattern match is version is development. Anchoboard, okay. This uh, next is the last example. Next example is uh, che is checking the the class of class of uh, of object. This this sample uh, percent W uh, is uh, array. Array of strings, and this pattern with underbar and class name checks the element of class. Uh, the, this object of class. So, and all of the, all of uh, this array or uh, objects class is, is are strings. It, 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 I can get the, jo, the strings join oh, oh, with, jo, join with comma. Yeah, I get, yeah, all example is success. Ah, I'm very relieved. <laughs> This is my proposal uh, of pattern matching, and what I did, uh, how I implement uh, it. It is also, of, of course, as a concept model. It's not, not real Ruby, but, but I wrote 
almost part of Patamaji by Ruby. Um, C language diff is only below. Uh, you, you don't have to you don't have to see detail, but I changed some parser y and I compa uh, and compile C. Only this below. Yeah. Oh, uh, just a moment. This is uh, my uh, unjoke. Sorry. <laughs> this is a the Ruby process. Ruby script, the code you write every day, is passed pass to the passed to the uh, passed and uh, convert to the AST abstract syntax um, tree <laughs> tree and compile to the Ruby bytecode Ruby bytecode and evaluate this. The code with percent %p and equal tilde on passing parser called, called pattern matching class uh, initialize this class with the content of percent %p bracket a comma one bracket and get the variables list from this object. Ah, it's only an A. And here, define variables. And next, on compiling, compile combat script and generate inspection with the additional code. Oh, what happened here? In here, uh, this code uh, is converted to the discard. Uh, this, uh, this program to save binding is, inject, inject, is injected and convert to Ruby bytecode. Yeah. This, save, uh, this bind, uh, for this save binding, uh, or in pattern matching, uh, we can assign values to local variables and use, a, use local variables after matching. And it's all of the works of C. And uh, as a rest, Ruby's library of pattern matching passing the patterns and matching values, comparing and assignment to variables. It is uh, what, this is what I did. This is the backdoor I used. Back to the goal. My main, you want to use pattern matching in Ruby. Did he? Did, uh, uh, do you? <laughs> it is, I hope it is, at, it, uh, it is attractive for you. And sub goals, you know how to extend Ruby by Ruby. Yeah. Now you know the backdoor I use. So um, by same way, you can make you, your own Ruby more casual. I hope to see your own Ruby. And say special thanks to again to my husband, Coach Sasada. He is great, my great advisor of Ruby interpretation. And Tsujimoto san, the author of Pattern Matching Gem. His gem and his talk on uh, Ruby, Tokyo Ruby Kai 11 is inspired me very much. Thank you. And future issues. Uh, syntax is, Pattern P is the best for making pattern. I'm not sure, I 
ne pasen pi bato. Mo beta literal. If you come across more literal, please please tell me. And specification of God cross. God cross of exa is God cross is as a makes it possible to check more complex condition <laughs> and improve my pasa. The pasa of Patamachi is very allow, allow only very limited patterns and have a and very buggy. <laughs> so my buggy my buggy script is here. Please try it and welcome to your opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the um, great talk. I think we have three minutes, three more minutes for Q and A. Does anyone have a question? ちなみにこれは日本語でも大丈夫ですかね。むしろ日本語でお願いします。はい。あの、あ、とても面白かったです。ありがとうございます。で、ちょっとあの見ててはい、パースバイは本当にここに見せてるだけで、あのパターンの
時間過ぎちゃった。すみません、不適用で。Do we have another question? あ、最前列がいる。<笑>あ、じゃあ、すみません、いいですか。はい。あ、ここです。はい。そちらからはい。はい、えっとパターン。マッチするときに型までチェックするんですか、はい、例えばその1つ目のケース分でハッシュかどハッシュのパターンマッチをして2つ目のケース分でアレーかどアレーの特定の要素を持ってるみたいなチェックもできるようにする感じですかもしくはもうハッシュならハッシュのパターンマッチっていう感じですかえっうんうんちょっと待ってください今どういうえ例えば、はい例えば最初にハッシュかどうかを見る。あ、そうです。なんかそのハッシュのあ、なんかそのすみませんサ。サンプルとか見せてもらってもいいですか。はい。えっ、ー、とどのサンプルがよろしいでしょうか。ハッシュがいいですか。はい。すみません。お願いします。そんだっけ。はい。これ。そうですね。なんか最初のフェンフェンのところで、はい、そのハッシュネームでフロームで広島をも持ってるハッシュ。かどうかみたいなチェックをして、はい、その2つ目のフェンのところで、はい、ハッシュではなくてなんかアレーのなんですか、ね、特定の要素を持っているみたいなこもちろんあのそれぞれのパターンはパターンなので書けますはいなるほど個別に書けますそこはその自由自由というかあ,あまり制約を設けないという感じですか設けないつも設けないというかそんな設けるなどと考えたこともなかったぐらいですよ。なるほど。ありがとうございます。<笑>すみません考えが足りずにはい。はいえありがとうございます。じゃすみませんもうもうちょっとさっき最前列で手を挙げられた方もぜひどうぞ。あすみませんえっと今ちょっとそこ出てんでついでにそれをもう一つ聞きたいんですけど、はあ、そのハッシュのキーの方っていうのはシンボル限定なんでしょうか。いやそんなことはないと思いますよ多分<笑>やってみればいいのかな<笑>えっと<笑>こうってことですよねちょっと待ってくださいねはいはいちょっと今慌ててるんであんまり操作がおぼつかないですけど例えばあこっちじゃダメかこっちにこれが当たればいいよって話ですよね。はい、多分動いたはず。あ、動きます。動きます。あ、なるほど。あともう一ついいですか。はい、あのクラスのマッチのところって、はい、あのなんで先頭にアンダースコアがつくんでしょう。クラス名の前に。いや、なんかえ、あのクラスクラスそのものをマッチしたいことがあるかなみたいなあの。対象オブジェクトにクラスそのものが来てそのクラスがイン,インテジャークラスだってことを知りたかったら,らあいやそのなんか書きようがないなクラスの名前を書くところでそのストリングだけじゃなくてなぜ先頭にアンダースコアがついてるのかなと思う、えー、あこれじゃなかったすいませんえっとこれですよね例えば、はい、例えばオブジェクトがそもそもス,ストリングでこれがストリングだってことをチェックしたい時があるじゃないですかきっと。あなるほどインスタンスじゃなくてそうそうそうオブジェクト自身が一致するかどうかで見たい,見たいケースと分けたためはい分けたかったあなるほど分かりましたありがとうございますそろそろ時間なんですけどすいませんちょっと個人的に聞きたいその今の質問したの右あ左隣に座ってる方ファーストインプレッションをいやえっ、ー、とパーセント P 以外はパーセント P っていう見栄えはまあ実験だからこれでいいと思うんですけども本番採用するなら別の機構を考えないといけないなと思いましたなるほどありがとうございますはい以上でよろしかったでしょうかはい。So thank you very much for listening、um, Yuki Tori さん Thank you Thank you for listening